So, we're here again, but I think we need to have another awkward conversation. It's not about that duck, is it? What, the one trying to drown himself? The one trying to drown himself, yeah. No, it's no. not the duck Oh, this oh time. that's good, that's good. This time it's it's about arranging a bank loan. Right, it's okay. arranging a bank loan, easy, straightforward, and should you do it yourself? No. That's it? Yeah, oh. simple, simple, yeah. Oh, well, great, okay. Nice to see. Yeah. Depends, yet again, what you, what you mean. I mean, getting a loan is sort of probably quite simple in the fact of you go to the bank that you've been with for many years and you say, I'd like to borrow some money from dental practice. So, so this would be going to the bank you've already got a relationship with. Bank you've already got a relationship right. with. So um, they like lending to dentists. Yep. So, so dentist is a green light, so that's good. Um, have you got all your documentation? Have you got everything ready? Does that matter? Surely you just go and say, well, I'm a dentist. You know me, you've got a relationship with me. Can you lend me some money? Um, no, no, no. So, uh, so being a dentist is good because one of the good things for dentists is that they get incredible rates and incredible terms. Yes. You know, percentage loan to value, uh, much higher than anybody else. Interest rates, phenomenally good. Even in the, the current market, you know, uh, the, the rates they can get in, in comparison to any other probable, probable business professional is phenomenal. So it all sounds, so if, if, if the rates are good and it's a green light sector and they're supporting you, dentists and the banks are keen to lend, it all sounds like it's straightforward and you just make that direct approach, you get your money and, and happy days on you go. In one way, yes. In a sensible way, no. Uh, and, and the reason I say that is that, yes, it's it's relatively straightforward to arrange as long as you know the information to provide, as long as you can present your proposal in the way that the banks want to see it so as they can understand what you actually want to buy. Oh, sorry. This is down to if you don't present it well and they don't understand it, it's not as easy for them to say yes. That's right. right. So, so, so therefore, as long as you've got that set of skills, um, which, you know, people decide whether they have or whether they haven't. Um, then you've then got the fact of, so, so assume you've got all those skills. Yeah, and the time, because I assume, I mean, I don't know, it must take time to, to do this as well. You've got to put all your paperwork together, all your documentation. I mean, typically, how long would that take for somebody <coughs> to, to go through that process and, and assemble the information and go to a bank and manage it themselves? Are we talking, what, an hour or two? Or? What, to put all the information together? Yeah. It, it could be, I mean, put it this way, it could be hours, hours of your time. Right. You know, you've got to reinvent your CV, you might have to do a business plan, you've got to do some form of projection, you've got to dig out all the bits and pieces, and then you've got to do maybe an analysis of the accounts of the practice you want to buy. Right. So it's, it's quite a lot to do. Mm. And I think the key one of, of getting a loan is sometimes it's not just about getting a loan. It's about sure, getting it's the loan. Getting the loan. Is it, is, well, yeah. there's more to it. And why? It's about getting the loan at the best term. Right. So everyone sort of assumes, don't they, that, that a loan has an interest rate. Mm. Well, uh, it's a bit like looking at your house mortgage, which is far less complicated. Are all house mortgages the same? The range of rates, and, and, and it, uh, on the rate, in particular, there can be a broad range, but there's also the terms that go with it as well in terms of what security do you need to provide? Do you need insurances that go with it? What term will that facility be provided over? You know, there's a whole basket of measures that need to be considered because actually it may not be just about the interest rate or the interest rate may not be the most important factor. If you've got a rate which was slightly higher, but a bank was prepared to lend you money over 15 years as opposed to 10, actually that, from a commercial point of view, might make more sense to take a slightly higher rated loan because your repayments are going to be lower, which makes it more affordable, which means that deal can actually happen. Exactly. And that is just on a simple mortgage. Yeah. So when you then factor in, is it NHS? Is it private? Is it specialist? Does it have a 
den plan? Is it practice plan? You know, all those sort of things. How much you put in? Yeah, is it lot free? Is it, it leasehold? So, so when you sort of start to throw those in the mix, and then ultimately you have to remember that that guess what? Banks are commercial enterprises, so they are going to want to charge you as much as they can. Hmm. So, uh, if you think our experience with dealing with our guys in FTA Finance, do you remember that, that chap who went to his own bank, they said, yeah, we can give you the deal, no problems at all, but it was base plus six. <laughs> but they thought they were getting a good deal. I suppose in the absence of any other information or knowledge, you assume that's the key. it is a good deal. Whereas, that's you know, the key. I, I guess you're right, FTA Finance arranged, you know, upwards of 150 million pounds worth of loans in a year. So their experience of what is competitive and out there in the market is obviously on a different level. Yep. But also it's it's not just about what's available, it's it's which banks to go to and which managers within those banks yes. to talk to. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's not just you go to a particular bank and you get the result. You need to know the right sort of manager who has the capacity and the skills to get that deal put through for you. Yeah, on a very simple, non-financial level, it's a bit like going to a restaurant. You can go to a restaurant on two different days yeah. and have two different waiters who will be totally different in the way they deliver and their the service. experience just won't feel the same. It's the same as banks. Mm. You know, they're, they're, they are people. <laughs> and they also are people I assume, and individuals. And I assume to get the best deal, really you don't want to just approach in one bank anyway. No, you, so, you want a competitive situation. And, and I guess if you're doing that yourself, that means you just multiplied your work by two or three times. Yep. Whereas if you arrange a loan through a broker, they would filter out the right banks to go to and approach the two or three who are more likely to provide the best terms because that, it's what they do. That's right. And also, if you factor in not only choosing the right bank, which has the best terms for your type of transaction, so this sort of, this whole range of options gets mm. bigger and bigger, but also if you've, if you've managed to do that and you've managed to get to that point and, and you've spent all that time doing it, the one thing that you can't do is you are only one deal. Yeah. Whereas a broker and, and you know our experience is FTA Finance, they produced last year over 150 million pounds worth of deals. I guess what you're saying is a bank is going to be more inclined to support applications yeah. from that source because they want to continue accessing that, Definitely. that that pot of opportunity. Whereas as an individual, you're going to get the pricing based on an individual. Yeah, like wholesale v retail. It is, and it's exactly way. yeah, it's exactly the same, isn't it? I suppose if you've, uh, you know, from a dentist's point of view, if I'm going to buy one box of gloves. Yeah. Or I'm going to buy a hundred box of gloves. Your price, you'd guess what? To You'll get a better yeah. price per unit yeah. on a hundred box of gloves, and that's exactly the same thing. The more that if you use a, a broker who delivers more business to the banks, the banks will give mm. the broker. So you could arrange it yourself, but actually, it sounds like you're more than likely going to get better terms across the board by using an yeah. experienced broker. And also, good brokers only charge you for success. Right. So there's no downside really. Only cost you when it works. There's no charge for the bits before. You know, anyone who's paying a broker to arrange and organise their loan. It's a dead money. Yeah, because the answer is it's not success based. No. That's Have a success based facility, definitely. Yeah. Interesting. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's true. It is, it is. Have you seen that back again? Yeah. Is he back out there? It is, look. Ah.